What's up, YouTube? This is Broad52, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I flipped around my desk a little bit. I have everything on the, the right side now, so the reason it looks different than before was simply because it's scooted closer this way, so it's not on a corner, it's facing the wall. And then all my consoles are on this side because I hate having them under my desk. But anyway, let's get back to the game. Um, I need to not do that. Uh, I need to make time slower. Because we're going to be doing Snow Peak. It's not Snowfall or Snowhead. It's Snow Peak in this episode. And we're going to be starting the second dungeon. I think. There was some other stuff we could have gotten in the last episode. I can't remember really what it was. It was mainly just upgrades in town. Mini games we can play. But we'll do an episode where we just uh, do all the side quests in Clock Town. And yeah. So... Let's start Snow Peak, and I need to go all the way around Clock Town. Yay. Actually, I need to get some arrows anyway, so I'll be right back. Oh, here. Here's some Dodongos. Also, playing this song on the wall here will give you rupees. That's a way of generating rupees, because rupees are a big part of this Zelda game. Let's not die from fire. <laughs> I'm a pro. Just kind of stands there. Brother. Oh, I'm a pro. I hate the toggle with the... I want it to be hold down. In the original console, I there was somewhere you could change that, but uh, not anymore. Especially on the virtual console, so it's just it's hold until the end of my days. I tried to look at my Ocarina of Time Let's Play because I know I was able to change it to hold somewhere. Anyway, this doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a game thing for me. I don't even know why I'm fighting this guy. Just kind of am. You die. Jesus, take forever. After this next dungeon, we can upgrade our sword and get the best sword in the game. Which is gonna be nice because it's dinky little swords and I don't have a match. Well, this fight at least. Then again, I'm not Z targeting and spin attacking, but it just makes it so much slower that way. And this guy's gonna explode. There he goes. They drop purple rupees. A lot of money. Um, now I need to find a way up to there. Can't exactly remember the way up. Oh, it's a staircase. I'm dumb. Alright. So this is the entrance to Snow Peak. The home of the Gorons in this Zelda game. They live in the snow this time instead of in the mountains that aren't snowy. But, regardless. Just kind of go. I'm wasting time. Time is of the essence after the first dungeon. So you're like, oh my god, there's stuff here. You just gotta shoot this thing. And then, oh, shoot, one more time. Stop, tattle. I know. No, just, just, what is this game? Okay. Boom. There he goes. Alright. Oh. I got tech tags in this one, too. Take a tat. I'm gonna die. I lied. Um, I don't really know why that doesn't do anything. Oh, it does. Abuse. But, uh, we did get the blast mask in the last episode, which is a great mask. Because it explodes, and when you hold out your shield, you don't take damage from it. So, even though we don't have bombs, we do have a way of blowing things up. It's a great mask. Um, you gotta wait for it to come back. So it'll cool down. There he goes. Pretty sure we can just pick this guy up. Yeah. Okay. Z target in this one's a bit weird. Probably take it off so we don't die. Yeah. 
You need to have five hearts now. Come on. Yeah, there's one of you in one of these. Just kind of doing stuff. Oh, you can slice him. That's cool. Uh, we can get the Mask of Truth. Should probably do that. Oh, here we go. This is some blast mask stuff here. I don't really know where you would get bombs before this. Besides the boss mask, like the bomb item. Here. Maybe, maybe we can buy it. There's a place you can buy it at the store. I'm gonna have to go back to Clock Town in the break off time and see if I can find it by the bombs. I don't know. I haven't played this game in a long time. Can I just slice these up? Nope. Okay, we'll just continue. I doubt there's anything important than that. Need to upgrade my wallet too. This next uh, stray fairy reward, I know for a fact, is the bigger magic, but I can't remember for the life of me where you find the upgrades for the wallets in this game. What's it say? Mountain village. Yeah, the mountain village. I will slice every tree. Can you roll? Thanks. I don't know. I think there might be a secret in this one. Secrets? No, there's just there's no point to this area at all. Well, I don't trust that. I don't trust this one boulder. Let me let me blow this one up first. Nope, we're good. Okay, well, no secrets in this area. Took ten minutes just to get through all that. Cause I'm dumb. Probably end this episode when we get the Goron. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I, I always expect the camera's right there. It's over here now. Hi. Alright. So this little house, once we defeat the boss of this area, this like opens up and we can upgrade our- Oh, we can go in now. This is, yeah, this is the mountain smiths and they upgrade your sword. Shut up. Just when I was having a dream. Oh, welcome to the Mountain Smithy, where we take our time to make a good point. I'm Zubora, the owner. Pleased to meet you. Shut up over there. <laughs> that huge fellow is my assistant, Gabora. He's all brawn and about as smart as a Deku stick. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpened? Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because of this abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth's been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. If you could do something about that frozen hearth... Eh, what's that? You say if we had hot water, we could melt the ice off the hearth? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you big... Oh, he believes a rumor that says long ago when there were hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. But I don't believe such rubbish. Well, there are... hot springs. But... The way to continue that quest to get the best sword... Can't remember exactly what the best sword's called, but it is to uh, defeat the boss and make it all snowy. Because the reason this is all snowy is because of the spirit up in the temple. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I'm very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. So that's another quest for the mask he's wearing. Yeah, I really need to get the actual bombs. He's sliding. He's sliding. There he goes. Just. Hey, <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Just gotta roll into every tree. Oh! It is dropping. Okay. Apparently there's just shadows. Oh, yes. Okay. Here's a little parkour that we can't do until we get an item in this area that will allow us to see some things that are invisible. Hey, hey. The ones of truth rock right time. Yeah, see, there's just shadows there. We're not rolling to that. I don't even have anything. Maybe that's just my footsteps. We need to stop blowing these things up. There's nothing secret, none. My tech heads. Lovely. Love that. How that hit. Oh, there's a tingle over there. Finally get the map of this area. Oh yeah, what's the new webcam? 
emplacement, you can't see my rupees. Not that that was something that you ever needed to see that much, but... Uh, I'm gonna fight this guy. Usually you just ignore him, but I feel like fighting him. Brother. You're all laggy, brother. Go for the swing. Look how that didn't reach. Got this sword. Sulk. God. You just... There we go. That only took forever. Alright. Dingo. My brother. Get down from there. Okay. I tingle. What's this? Screen clothes? White fairy? So you could you buy chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Less than I'm already age 35. No fairies come to meet me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle's the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Okay, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know. I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I'll sell you a map for as cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Snowhead. Yippee. Never buy any of his maps. You'll you'll get them eventually. He's in every area. You'll need a map. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Didn't steal them. Okay. Uh, that little interaction with friggin' my man. Okay. I'll just ignore this one. Bye bye. I'm busy. All right. What was that? Oh, that's the this guy. He's the uh, land dude psycho guy. All right. So this is the mountain villager or whatever. Everybody's suffering because of uh, the cold. So we go over here. It's Kebora Gebora, and that's the name of this owl, by the way. Just, he's not just the owl. It's Kebora Gebora. Dude, we meet again for a child. I have my stone statues, Pinapo. Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination bring burns bright within you, then that's another story. So, will you proceed? You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of the mountain after all. I shall take you to the air, flying through that sh to that shrine across the way. So follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. So we just gotta follow where his feathers land, because there are invisible platforms there. See, his feather just landed. So we just gotta jump. Like that. And there we go. Hoot hoot, I'm certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now into the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. The lens of truth. In case you were wondering. Pretty sure there's an, an invisible boy invisible spider guy I don't remember what they're on skull not skull tool it is a skull tool isn't it Legend of truth yes there are just many stories that are invisible to the naked eye so you see these seeing the truth drains magic power so tap C again to stop looking and deep I think it's read that okay pretty sure there's an invisible boy in here somewhere I was lied to. Whatever. Let's not waste our magic. Alright. Invisible platform. So lovely. So much more perilous when it's visible. And then there's a boy. Spit it. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me.
This is the spirit that gives us the Goron mask, by the way. Oh, yeah. Link to me and Goron in this game. There he goes. Caught that wolf us mid spawn. There you are. I'm gonna have like no magic after this. Could be proud of yourself. Goron spirit. Of which I've forgotten the name. Wolf host, can you not? Uh, ah! There he goes. Gotta make sure we don't go to the next scene without him. Also, spawn back at the start. We'll have to do it all over again. Hello. So he's going all the way to the top, and we have to use the invisible ladder to get us. But it is a fool's errand, because there's two pathways that'll be dead ends. I can't, I can't remember. I think it's right. Can't remember. I can't remember. I think I'm doing the right one. It might be right again. I think it's two rights, actually. It's different every day. Of oh, oh. Okay. Hey, I got it. First try. Look at that. Hello. Alright. Boom. The Goron Graveyard. Speak. Speak. Oh, I have to check his gravestone. It's written in letters that you've never seen before. Oh, Dr. Z targeted. Ah, speak. There we go. The soaring one said that one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I'm Dur Darmani the third. The blood of proud Goran heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village, then the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now, here I am. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic. The Swearing One also told me that you are able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. I leave my undying feelings with you. 
The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. You got the Goron Mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Goron. Press C again to return to normal. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. Okay, so let's read his grave. Oh, I have to change it to Goron first. Alright, so we're just gonna leave the bow away, because the Lens of Truth and the Goron Mask have been made out of this area. Get a little cutscene of Link dying, not really. The Goron hero, Darmani III, rests here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of a great hero. We read by the knowledge of the Imperial- Oh, I know this. I know all this already. So, in Carl, did the punches, you know. Now that we're strong enough, we have to pull back his grave. And that'll open up the hot spring in this area. And we can do stuff with that water. Pretty sure we only have a limited time before it, like... I only have one bottle! That sucks. I need to look up all the bottles. Okay, so it does run out. And you can roll this. Go on. Go on, Link. Right. You're not the great Darmani, are you? Then, just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? <laughs> Funny. Ow. Gotta free his friend with the hot spring. Oh, what have I been doing? Oh, are you alright, brother? You were frozen, but the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died long ago and is lying in his grave. Yeah, Darmani! I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Darmani isn't dead. Really? With this, a star of hope appears in Goron Village. Great Darmani, please do something about this blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Okay. We're gonna do something about that blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. But first we have to... Do some side quest stuff first. Okay. We're just using the hot spring to free up some stuff that we can do... Later. And we actually die if we go in water as a Goron. Like we drown. We're so heavy. But he is faster than Link, so we need to use him. And once you get that little ability that you saw charge to full heal, like it spikes on him. And he'll like hurt anything that he rolls into. Pretty good, I know. They can't have this hot spring running out on me. This is a little side quest area. I don't remember what's in here. Actually, I think it's a new bottle. I don't really know. I was about to say, if I didn't get it. Stop. Oh, it's another hot spring. Yeah, this is helpful. Okay. Don't have to travel as far. So we have to free up the, like, that area of things. I don't want to fall back in. I know there's a little side quest that you can do with, um, a, there's like a rolling competition or something. Demani, how are you alive? Yes. It was already open. And you use this hot spring water over here. Um. Ow. <laughs> Don't really know how to get up there. Can I just. I'm gonna die. Okay. Can I use it here? I could just be wasting it, but. I don't know. That's it! Oh my god. Don't die, Link. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we can punch these as Goron Boy. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Give me the heart. Give me the heart. Okay. There's other stuff you can use at the hot spring stuff, but... 
I don't really know. Can you, like, die? <laughs> so... I need some health. Badly. Whatever. Okay. We'll continue. Shrine should be open. Oh, I have to open it again. You can open it with just like a grunt. No. Just a ground pound. I really just want another heart. So this is a ground pound. Oh, I need to hold it. There we go. It just open. Go on try. Alright. This is the son of a boy. In here. Hey! Daddy. I'm cold to daddy. Ah, uh, Darmy, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Okay. So yeah, freaking... I don't know... Does that work? No. Oh. I didn't even play it right. There we go. I don't know if this will work to the boy. Nope. Okay. So what we have to do is, um, stuff. That we will do in the next episode because I'm running out of time. So in the next episode, we will be making this child stop crying. Do some other side quests to get the Don Gara mask, the frog mask the other guy was wearing. And we will be proceeding on to the entrance of Snow Peak. To free the guards from their snow. So, anyways, guys, so we enjoyed this video. If you just said that, I don't know. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. But, anyways, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're glad that you're here. Um, it's currently 11:45 at night. I was watching some stuff on Dead by Daylight, and I figured I might make a more serious video reflecting on the game's status right now and my video talking about the things I don't like about 2.0.